just, I think we always decided we would do, do something like this. Do you know, it was just a situation that I had two jobs when I first started tattooing. Most people that start this game kind of have to, do you know, you can't rely on this. I was a musician for, for a good few years back in England and then came to Ireland for a three month holiday and I'm still here ten years later. Um, there was no, um, no plan to tattoo at all, do you know, I am quite accidentally. So yeah, um, I just have, I have a good mate here, a guy called Vinny that kind of got me into it, helped me out tattooing. Um, and the rest of it has just kind of gone on from that. I was just completely fascinated by the whole history, the process, the whole idea of... I didn't have any tattoos at the time, it was completely new. Mm. Um, so I went into a couple of shops in Limerick. It, piercings were a lot easier to... like if I was doing a print of a body, adding a piercing was a lot easier than reproducing a tattoo. Mm. So. Um, I ended up doing a couple of prints based on the idea of marking your body, then looked into the history, symbolism behi behind uh, tribal piercings, ear stretchings, lip stretchings, that kind of thing. It was um, that, that that kind of started to get more important for me. I started to look at why, why do we feel the need to mark our body. I wrote my dissertation in college based on uh, the aesthetics of contemporary body culture and I was comparing tattoos and piercings to plastic surgery. It is a shame there is no regulation in Southern Ireland as such and it's down to the people running the show, or people in shops you know, to regulate themselves. Now there's plenty of information out there so there's no excuse and there are new things happening all the time to make it safer you know, for tattooing. I mean personally here we use we use everything disposable, there's nothing that can be used, nothing is used twice. And that completely eliminates that risk of anything happening like that, you know. Some of the things I learned in college are definitely conducive to what I'm doing now. You know, life drawing, things like that. Mm. Learning to see and reproduce, you know. I think nowadays there are so many people doing this job, you have to be good at it. You know, it's quite a normal job nowadays, not that special, so. I completely moved away from it. I had kids, so I did the whole, <laughs> the mammy and the real job. And Sean was training to tattoo at the time. So he continued it, but to make a living, we both worked other jobs. And then um, two and a half years ago, we decided to open up here. We had an idea. We always had a dream. Even when I left the Pearson studio, I had m more of an idea of what, what way I wanted to go. I wish there was associations in Ireland. I wish there was more regulation so that you could, you, you don't need to convince everybody all the time that you're, mm. you know, you're above standard. You can actually just have a piece of paper that says you are complying with everything that's necessary. I was asked one time, what's the, the best tattoo I've ever done? And I have to say it's the next one, you know? Did you're always learning something. We are constantly updating ourselves through the SRCL, do you know, to find out the new stuff that's happening all the time. The, the new thing at the moment is respiratory contamination, do you know, so face masks are definitely a good idea when you're tattooing, you know. Certainly if you're having a conversation with your client, the stuff gets out, do you know. And it's the rock star style guy that won't wear protection because he wants people to see his cool clothes, do you know, and uh, does substandard work because wearing the gear and looking the part is more important than actually doing the job, you know. Mm. We'd be fairly nervous about what we do here. That's what makes us good, you know. You have to have a massive respect for somebody you're marking for life and that's really important, you know. We've noticed a massive change in our clients over the last year, two years, I'd say, and it's a lot more very professional people for much bigger pieces, you know, so we do a leg sleeve of butterflies on a lawyer. So yeah, mm. all, all in all, it's uh, exciting to be in this at the moment, you know.